Why is it that the eating videos always get the most views? I don't get it. Okay, we parked. We made it to my meat butcher shop, Mario. This is where I buy all my meat. Yummy. And the fat trimmings. That's my boy. You can buy Lomo Fino, which is filet mignon here, for 65 soles a kilogram. That's 2.2 pounds for about mm, 15 bucks, $15, something like that. A whole piece of filet mignon. I am so excited to eat my meat. Oh my gosh, look. They're weighing it out right now. I got some bone marrow and that's my big ass bag of meat. Yum. And here is the bill. I gave, so it's 141 soles. And that's about $60 worth of a lot of meat. That's like one, two, three, four, almost five kilograms, kilograms of that. Yummy. Oh. All right, we stopped so that Marina can get some veggies for her meat. This is what the market here looks like. Pretty busy. Oh, arriba de ti. <laughs> he found his buddy. They're both motocarters. So he stopped to go talk to his bestie. Seems like it. Here you can buy 40 limes. That's their cheaper price for one soul. It's about 25 cents. Okay, we're ready to go. Got the meat between my feet. <laughs> Meet between my feet. Ready to go. Okay, I am back at home. I'm packing my meat. It's already in the freezer. And I'm gonna make some hamburger patties today. I bought this big chunk of bone with meat and fat that I'm gonna make bone broth out of. Yes, stay tuned. Okay, so I have the filet mignon drying off here. I have ground beef in here. A whole kilogram and I'm currently frying up fat trimmings yum I eat the fat trimmings after I get all of the fat from it so that I can have some good fat to cook my meat in so delicious mm -hmm. that is filet mignon pieces frying up on low heat in lard well Fat trimmings. So good. Here we go. Those are my fat trimmings. A burger patty. And my filet mignon pieces. And we always eat outside. Because you can't beat this view. Okay, I'm about to feast. Here I have the beef tallow that I strained from the skillet. Here, I have my ginger tea. I forgot a fork. And I almost always start off with eating my fat trimmings. Just look how good they are. They're so crunchy. Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I've been breaking out, detoxing, because I'm only eating meat. And they say that that's what happens. Because your body's trying to get rid of all the toxins. Mm hmm. And now the beef patty. Mm. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna dip it into my into my beef tallow. Mmm. I'm so happy. I'm basically my plate. Fat trimmings, filet mignon, and then beef patty. Look how crispy they are. Mmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Why is it that the eating videos always get the most views? I don't get it. I don't get it. Mm. Okay, we're gonna try the filet. Ooh. Mmm. I'm gonna dip it into my yeah. That's my fat. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Mm. So the key is to eat intentionally and to chew for a very long time. Still the same piece. Chewing. It's a glorious day. Watch this. So peaceful. Okay, another fat trimming. This one's got a little bit of cartilage. which is where all of the um, collagen is. <laughs> Telling you, my brain cells are like always doing this little happy dance whenever I eat, eat the fat trimmings. Mm. More of the beef patty. Yeah, man. Literally, just salt. No onion, no garlic, no spices. Mm. Because my stomach does not like garlic and onion. It gets really, really bloated. I swear it looked like I was nine months pregnant. Just two weeks ago. Crazy. And now, I 
lost eight pounds in 10 days. Just by eating meat and salt. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And all of this. Not even concerned. I know it's going to go away. Okay. Another filet mignon. We call it Lomo Fino here. So sexy. Yes. Mmm. I bet you didn't know that food can be sexy. Mm -hmm. Even the flies want some of this. I'm telling you, the flies, they love the meat. Fucking carnivores, that's for sure. Look at that. Hmm. Why won't it focus? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look how good that looks. The meat has its own music. I don't even need to be playing music. But what I was saying was it's super important to eat intentionally and to only eat, not read and eat or be on your phone and eat. You know what I mean? When you're eating, just eat. Oh no, my, my big padded fell apart. And eating the amount of fat that I'm eating is what got me into ketosis a lot faster. And it's making my brain function so good. I like, never thought it was possible to think this clearly hmm. mother nature approves Why do people like to watch other people eat on camera? Like, that's so weird to me. Is that a fetish of some sort? Do people get turned on watching other people eat? So weird. I actually prefer to eat alone. Because then I can, like, focus solely on the food that I created. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Damn. I feel as magnificent as a lion. Another fat trimming. Right there. Mm. Come on. I gotta focus. <laughs> oh my god. I love that. Like, it's so good. Mm. I had another filet mignon piece. Just sitting here soaking in this fat. 
that I'm about to devour. <laughs> oh my god. This? Those are my supplements. Just chilling on the windowsill. I figured somebody might ask. My hair is getting so long. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Another beef patty. Mm. Mm. <laughs> this is another fat trimming that I cannot wait to shove into my mouth. But I'm just gonna admire it for a while because it's so sexy. Mm -hmm. Never thought in a million years I would make one of these videos. It's kind of fun. Yeah. Giving the people what they want. That's what you want? No? Yeah. That's too bad. Because I'm about to have it. <laughs> mm. Wow. So, my ketovore, no, sorry, my carnivore lion diet consists most or more like the fat to pro protein ratio. The fat is much higher than the protein because I do want to remain in ketosis. Mm. and thank god I love eating fat because it is delicious it's like there's no word to describe it you know like people love bacon cause it's kinda like that it's like crispy mm, really oily it's delicious with ayahuasca I ate nothing but meat and salt before I went and drank my last ceremony. And it was the most incredible ceremony of my life. Like, out of this world. Out of this world. And I've drank a lot, okay? I've drank probably up to 200. I've had up to 200 ceremonies at this point. And this one that was like, what, seven days ago? Today's Thursday? Yes, exactly, last Thursday. It was the most incredible most magical ceremony of my life. And all I ate was meat and salt. I've never done that before until this time. Um, I'm gonna do another piece of filet mignon. I didn't bring a knife. I don't really have a steak knife right now. So. I just got a text message from my curandero. He bring me my pacho from Iquitos and chacapa, which is like this leaf little thing you need cleanses with. I've wanted one for a really long time. Mm. That was another fat trimming. Oh my God. 
can't believe I avoided meat and protein and fat for most of my life. Oh my god. Can't believe what I was missing out on. But it's okay. Listen to your body. No one else knows what's right. I'm sure there's a shit ton of vegans or vegetarians watching this right now. Or even people who like to eat ice cream and pizza and hamburgers and are judging me for my fat intake right now. Telling me my arteries are going to be clogged. I listen to my body. Body does not lie. And my body is loving this so much. Especially my brain. I can really feel my brain improving with every single day. And it's raining. It honestly couldn't be any more perfect. This is so awesome. (laughs) And my hair. Man, my hair looks funky. It's okay. I got another piece of hamburger. Beef fatty. Mm. It's good. It's really good. I like to get a variety of different cuts. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. Wow. This is on a whole new level. Oh goodness. Like, for me to get the same amount of nutrients in this plate of meat that I'm getting right now, I would have to eat a whole fucking table worth of grains, fruits, and vegetables. Okay? And still, my body wouldn't absorb the nutrients as well as it absorbs the meat. Meat is the most bio available nutrient to our bodies it's been done the studies have been done go do your research if you don't believe me so and it has no anti-nutrients like there are in vegetables and in fruits and in grains so it honestly just like makes so much sense to eat meat watch this That was the last of my beef patty. This is the last of my fat trimmings. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so good. And I have three pieces of meat left. That's right, you already guessed it. It's going in the cup. So that I can get all of those fatty juices in my steak. Who cares? How do you eat? I hate going to restaurants now. It's so annoying. I'm like, where does your salt come from? Do you guys use good quality salt? And what kind of oil? you use can you make sure not to use any oil on my steak i would just like it grilled with no oil please and only salt and then they offer me fruit at the market they always tell you try this try this you know like try how delicious this mango is so that you buy it i'm like no no I don't eat fruit. (laughs) They're like, what? (laughs) I'm like, I don't eat fruit. Okay. (laughs) And this one meal lasts me until the next day. I don't get hungry. 
until the next day. Eating meat and salt. I eat only once a day. And I intermittent fast until the next day. So about anywhere from 22 hours to 26 hours, depending on how late or early I eat in the day. And my stomach has been loving it. Like, absolutely loving it. All my pain, my digestive pain went away. I'm not gassy. I'm not bloated. Like, I just ate an entire plate of meat. And I don't feel bloated, you know? Like, I feel like I'm satiated. Just enough food. Like, yeah, I, like, don't even want to eat more, you know? I eat just as much as my body wants. And then I'm good until the next day. Mm. And this is what happens when you eat nutrient-dense food. Like I said, you can eat a table worth of fruits and vegetables and grains, and that's not going to be the same amount of nutrition as I get in one plate. Yeah. So, it just makes so much sense. And it's actually cheaper. Like, believe it or not, it's actually cheaper. And I get really good quality meat here in Peru. Mm hmm. And it's so cheap, you guys. It's like 65 soles per kilogram. That's 2.2 pounds of filet mignon for 65 soles. That is about, I want to say like 16, 16 dollars. Mm-hmm. Roughly. That's so cheap. Filet mignon. That amount of filet in the States, I'm assuming is going to cost closer to like 50 or 60 bucks. How are y'all surviving out there? Mm. Got a little oil in me. It's okay. I like it. <laughs> okay, I'm coming to an end. This is ridiculously good. Like, I get it, it doesn't look like it was much. Because it was all just me. And it wasn't all that pretty. But for me, it's all I want. And I get it. So I'm like 13 days in. Yeah, almost two weeks. Tomorrow will be two weeks. Since I began my lion's diet. I get it, it's still early. And I'm sure eating nothing but meat will get old eventually but I plan to do this diet for at least 90 days it's a strict carnivore diet of just meat and salt no like eggs no butter no dairy I refuse to eat dairy now I know how shitty it feels in my stomach and then after my 30 days I'm going to reintroduce coffee. <laughs> coffee with almond milk. That's going to be my reward. For eating nothing but meat and salt for 30 days. Yeah. It's going to be a good reward. I deserve it, damn it. Mm -hmm. I haven't had coffee in six months. Over six months. Yeah. And I think in the last year, I may have only had like a handful of lattes. So, this is the only treat that I want. And I refuse to go back to eating sugar. I also haven't had sugar in six months. A little over six months. Mmm. And it just feels really good. 
not to eat anything sweet because sugar is not food there's no nutrients in it whatsoever all it is is just to satisfy your taste buds and to satisfy the hunger in your mind but your body is still starving this is why we're all malnourished and fat yeah i'm not fat <laughs> i could lose weight you know at least i'm I think I could lose another five pounds. I wouldn't mind. Okay. My last piece. <laughs> mm. The oil is already cooled off, so it's like kind of thick. See that? Which is fine. I don't care. You know the saying? Where they say, you're not sick, you're actually dehydrated. Well, the saying should be, you're not sick. You're actually malnourished because you've been eating shit. And what I mean by that is you're eating food that doesn't have enough nutrients for your body to sustain itself. And this is why you're getting sick, okay? Because the body is malnourished. That's why it makes so much sense to just eat meat because it's the most nutrient-dense food. There's nothing but nutrients in here, okay? So your body can feed off of this for a really long time. And being in ketosis is so awesome. I Like I said, I didn't know my brain can function this way. Like, I was depressed as fuck. And simply eating meat, I don't remember what depression feels like anymore. <laughs> you're not sick, you're malnourished. Mm. So good. So, cheers. This is my first official eating food video. Yeah. I'm gonna make more of these for sure. It's kind of fun. It's like eating and staring at yourself. You're like, damn, I look so funny when I'm eating. <laughs> Mm, and ginger tea with rosemary and lime. Oh, it's like my favorite thing in the world. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's like my favorite thing in the world. Besides the meat, obviously. So. so, thanks for joining me for dinner, for lunch, brunch. It's like 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock. It's 1 o'clock right now. Yeah, thanks for joining me for my brunch, my carnival brunch. Um, as always, please like, share, subscribe. Any of those three really help me to continue to make content. And if you did, if you enjoyed this video, then I'm sure you'll enjoy my other videos. Check them out and stay tuned for more because it's what I do now. <laughs> Much love.